Absolutely. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Somebody else's taste. Not put me in this. <laughs> Yes, thank you. I made it. <laughs> Can you introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Jamie Gray Heider and I play Hawk Girl. Hmm. Beautiful. Um, so, you've done voice acting before and you also did live action stuff too. What's your different uh, technique that you go into it, or is it more similar when you're comparing uh, TV shows versus voice acting? Like, you've done Voltron and then going into Hawk Girl, you know? Mm -hmm. What is the difference for you to get into this character and just to prepare? Well, one of the things, you know, that's so interesting is when you don't have lights, cameras, costumes, props, sets, all these things, it really allows you to focus because you're only having to pay attention to one aspect of how you're representing this character and that kind of, it can be tricky, but for me that really focuses me. Um, it's also nice not to have to sit in hair and makeup, worry about what you're wearing. <laughs> um, but. It frees you up to make all the weird faces and body movements and stuff that you need to without having to worry about what you look like. Yeah. And that, and that kind of, you need that, especially for a character like Hawker who's so physical mm -hmm. that it, it, when she has fewer words and she really is based in action, how do you bring nuance and emotion to grunts? You know, how do you create <laughs> variety without necessarily spelling it all out like another character might? So that was something that was fun. And, and if there's videos of the voiceover booth, I probably looked like a freak, you know, in there just slamming things that weren't there and just yelling, um, but it was fun. So Hawkgirl is such a, a strong hero, not just in the DC universe, but in general. What would you like people to take away from this character after seeing the, the, the movie? Well, one thing that she encounters is the fact that she has to work with her enemy. I don't think she works well in teams anyway, but especially not one where her enemy is present and so having to kind of reckon with Adam Strange and bring down her wall a little bit to allow someone she wouldn't normally trust to help her um, I think that brings a lot of nuance to it and I think that's something we can all take away the idea of trying to identify with your enemy or someone maybe you don't think you have anything in common with I think it makes it easier to communicate and solve problems um, and it was really hard for Hawk Girl <laughs> to do that but I think it's what keeps the performance from being one note, just, you know, from being aggro all the time, it, it forces her to have to adapt and deal with these new personality types that she would normally be completely avoiding. So I think that makes it interesting. It's amazing. Yeah. I want to tack on to that. Uh, how is the absence of Hawkman affecting her? There's only room for one Hawk in here. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Done. The best answer. <laughs> Cut the cameras. Cut the camera. That was it. Amazing. All right. Oh, God. Oh, oh. I told y'all, Dad's here. We gotta go. Yeah. Dad's Amazing. here. Gotta go.